everyone! Welcome back to Hot and Spicy Guyana. I hope you all had an amazing week. Today I will be making for you baigan curry with boiled eggs and potato. Baigan is also called belange or eggplant. This is a wonderful and simple recipe that can also be made vegetarian or you can add meat to it as well. So sit back, relax and join me for a simple and awesome recipe. Let's get into the video guys. Here I have all of my ingredients. I have three eggplant, also known as balanche or baigan which I've gone ahead and chopped, peel, washed, and I'm just soaking it in some water now. It's a custom to soak this in some water just so it doesn't get black. Now with the eggplant, you can also take, when you're um, peeling it, you can take the skin off as well as the seeds out. If you're one that has the itchy mouth reaction when you eat the eggplant, you can take the skin and the seeds off. That way you don't get that reaction. However, if you don't and you like it with the skin on, either way you do, it's fine. You can also have it with the skin and the seeds in. But I just prefer to take the skin off. I also have salt to taste, which I'm going to be using. Six eggs, which I've gone ahead and boiled. Don't mind my peeling, guys. <laughs> It didn't work out that great. I have three potatoes, which I've gone ahead and chopped, peel, and wash. I have one pepper, three grated garlic, half of an onion, which I've grated, one teaspoon of curry powder, and one tablespoon of garam masala. This is just what the garam masala looks like. You can find this. Um, I know every Guyanese know what garam masala is, but if you don't and you're looking for this, you can pick this up at the Indian grocery stores in the spices section. And you just ask for the Indi garam masala. As you can see, I also have my go-to uh, purpose seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a purpose seasoning, but just because I like using this in all of my food, as you guys know, because it gives it a nice taste. If you have any other seasonings in your kitchen, you can use that as well. I'm going to be using salt to taste, and I have just a little bit of water, which I'm going to be using to make the paste. To this water, I'm going to be adding my garlic, onion, curry powder, and garam masala. I'm just going to make a mix, and then I'm going to heat my pan with, which, to which I've added one tablespoon of oil. And then I'm going to put that paste into the oil and cook it for about 30 minutes until it's cooked well before adding my eggplant. So now I'm just going to put my um, heat on maximum and then just let this heat. Then I'm going to turn it down again then mix these and show you guys the next step. Now that I've um, put the heat on guys, while my oil is heating, I'm just going to now add these ingredients and make my wet paste for my curry baigan. You want to make sure that you also add your seasonings at this point. I find when I add my seasoning to the beginning of the dish, it gets to marinate really well as everything cooks and it gives it that nice flavor. Some people like adding it to the end, but what, whichever way you prefer, that's fine as well. I just find when you add it in the beginning and you mix it, like I said, when it's cooking, 
it gives the food a nice flavor because everything gets to work in really well now to this mixture i'm just going to add salt to taste and my all-purpose seasoning keeping in mind that i do have my measurements down in the description box so when you go and you watch the video um there's a drop down arrow that you just click on and you're going to see the rest of the ingredients and the uh, exact measurements don't mind the smoke guys that just means that the oil is hot and because you've added that paste to the oil it's just starting to cook now i'm just going to continuously turn this around while cooking for 30 minutes just so everything the masala and the curry mixture can cook really well before adding in my other ingredients now when you're cooking this mixture you want to make sure that you continuously turn it just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and burn if it sticks that means that that's a high chance that it can burn and then you're just gonna make your eggplant has that burnt taste so just make sure you continuously turn and then as long as you see the oil starting to evaporate from the mixture the way it is showing here i'm not sure if you guys can see it because of all of the smoke but as you can see here the oil is starting to evaporate so i'm now going to add my eggplant You can discard up the water from the eggplant you don't really need that at this point now i'm just going to mix everything up to make sure everything is evenly distributed and then i'm going to cover this and let all of the juices from the eggplant evaporate and cook that helps to cook it after doing that i'm going to come back i'm probably going to let this cook for about 20 minutes let's say 15 to 20 minutes so that the juices can evaporate from the eggplant and then it's going to steam and release its own juices after 15 minutes of steaming as you can see i've lifted the lid off to check it keeping in mind that you can adjust your heat as well and just adjust it as needed so that it doesn't burn and as you can see all of that eggplant that i have has now simmered and steamed down this is what it looks like guys we don't like our eggplant to have the chunks in it so i'm going to continue steaming this until it's all dissolved and everything smooth i'm now going to add my eggs in here with my potatoes and hot peppers and i'm going to continue cooking with the lid on until everything's nice and soft so as you can see i've gone ahead and chopped up the pepper that i had into four pieces you can chop it up into as many pieces as you like and if you don't like it too spicy you can take the seeds out of the pepper as well because that is what makes it really spicy now i'm just going to continue adding my eggs and every and potatoes and continue cooking now some people like to fry their eggs as well before adding it to the eggplant but it's not necessary it's a, more of a preference whatever you like you can do you can also add meat or anything else to this but today we're just doing eggs and potatoes. I'm just going to give this a twirl so that everything can continue cooking and that spice from the pepper can get evaporated into the food. Now I'm going to cover with a lid and continue cooking for just about another 15 to 20 minutes. Now while I'm doing this guys, keep in mind that you have to continuously check it and not leave it just to make sure that it's not burning and readjust your heat as needed. 
Now guys, after about another 15 minutes, after putting in my potatoes, in order to get it the, the potatoes soft and to get the eggplant, the lumps out of the eggplant, as I told you, we like ours really mushy and soft and without the lumps, I've added half a cup of water just so to get the eggplants to cook and to get those lumps out of the eggplant. If you don't like it that way, then by all means, you do not have to add the water. But just because we do, um, I added that water so that to give it additional time so that it can cook. Now I'm going to cover this and let this cook until the potatoes are soft. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys the next step. So everyone, this is coming down to the final step of cooking the baigan curry. I've tasted for um, seasoning and extra salt. If it needs more, you can add it at this point. If not, and it tastes good, then that's fine. You can take it off. You don't want the potatoes to get too mushy because then it's just going to get mashed into the baigan. Now I'm going to take this off and get ready for plating. So there you go, guys. The finished product of curry baigan with eggs and potatoes. I hope you guys can in make this recipe one of your own and I hope you enjoyed it. If you all want to see more, just make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Bye! Mm -hmm.